we believe that creativity is a natural resource and that every community, every neighborhood, every block has access to that natural resource. That sense of creative thinking is something we believe can be applied to, to any big challenge or any issue that a community faces. So Springboard is an economic and community development organization that's run by and for artists. And our work is all about building reciprocal relationships between communities and their artists, supporting artists to be able to make a living and a life through entrepreneurship and business skills training, really thinking about how do we make sure that more people can use their creative ideas to solve the big challenges that are facing their communities and more people can identify themselves as creative thinkers and as artists. So the idea of urban-rural solidarity is really important to me and, and to Springboard as an organization. So Fergus Falls is a community of about 13,000 people. Springboard's had an office in Fergus Falls for about eight years. We've learned so much from that experience and from understanding both the differences and and the places where especially underinvested urban neighborhoods and rural communities are facing a lot of the same big challenges. One of the programs that like really grabbed my attention was the Artist Access for Healthcare. It's one of those things that bridges a great gap. It helps these organizations actually connect to the people that need them the most. And it's also giving artists who might have otherwise shied away from actually taking care of themselves a little bit of support to kind of get them back plugged into the healthcare system. Springboard's ability to kind of like fill in that gap where there is a need for people who want the cell to actually get connected to the people who really want to serve them in the first place. We've done projects that are about the culture of mental health in rural communities, projects that are about uh, combating Islamophobia and bringing people together across differences in a neighborhood. We start by trying. We say yes, we find a small way to try something, we get feedback, and that process of iteration is really a part of our way of working, and I, I think that comes from all of our artistic backgrounds, that, that you don't make art by thinking about it. <laughs> you have to just do it and try it. We made a commitment to share everything that we do here locally in the form of toolkits and other resources. These things are actually designed for people to replicate them and make them their own. It's actually kind of the best case scenario if another organization within a different town is able to take that basic playbook that Springboard has created and actually evolve it to make it even more successful, more productive for the communities in their own areas that they're supporting. Sometimes it almost feels to me like the organization itself and the programs are this sort of large-scale collaborative piece of art that we're all working on together and constantly changing and evolving. And rather than being an organization that says, we do these three things, we're an organization that says, this is our mission. How do we need to fulfill that today? So that leaves us the opportunity to always kind of be in search of what's next, to always be able to be in response to our community based on, on what people want and need. It feels like a really important part of our work and also is part of what I think feeds us all. It, it keeps us all um, really interested and engaged.